Hi everybody and welcome back and today I'm going to show you why I use the flying monsters. This is one of the ones that's supposed to limit your movement. So by you having flying monsters you can just fly anywhere you want to. Whereas they're going to get bunched up because they don't have any flying monsters. The downside is that there's certain ones where there's scenery where you can't jump over people. So what you have to do is now <clears throat> what they're doing right now, they're just flying forward in a line. Uh, whoever goes first and whoever gets there in line first. And they're pretty much going to be the only one who gets attacked. So right now you see them they're pretty much spread out and then they're going to be taken out one or two at a time with earthquake and he levels up again so just keep in mind that there are some benefits and there are some negatives to picking flying monsters and I don't know why he's attacking. The AI does that sometime and it's just weird that they decide to attack when they can cast a spell. So as you see, we still have all four of our people, even if we was on normal ground. We would still be pretty good because we can attack them from three or four sides where they can really only attack us from one. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.